Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we'll go over the Visual Basic Script button. And to get started, we'll go over the Input Manager first. So if you right click on Visual Basic and click on Input Manager, and here we can add in more variables such as we can add in Z, we can add in our custom variable, like we can actually put in the whole word as unit. If you have two more words, you should add an underscore such as unit in the K direction or something. And then hit and then add that into there and then hit OK and it'll automatically add into the left side of your button. Also if you go to output manager by right clicking again, you can add in outputs such as the A, B, and so on. Such like it's the same as the input. For furthermore, if we put in such as a number slider of floating points, a circle into Y a point into Z, a line into unit K. We need to specify this in the Visual Basic button. So you can right click, go to Type Hint, and say that 0.25 is a double. An integer can be a double, but a double can't be an integer, just to let you guys know. Also a circle, you go to Type Hint, you go to On Circle, Point which is a 3D point, not a vector point. So, so you hit point, and then line, right click, type hint, on line. Also the out here, it prints out anything you want to print out in the visuals, Visual Basic Script. Also error streams in case something is wrong. So you can grab a panel and then just connect it. And I'll tell you right now is no data was collected because we don't have anything in the code. You can output anything you want in the code into A or B or any other variables that you chose. So now we'll get into the code. If you double click on VB this window will pop up and you, you don't have to worry about anything in the gray. Here in the white area where you can actually type in your code and then if you click on the plus sign you can type in additional functions or sub functions at, into the region area normally this box should be checked if you clicked outside the the script um, window this box what it does is let, allows you to work outside of the script while the script is still open so once you're ready to work on the script again just click on the script window and it'll re-pop up and then one there's no un, there's no once you press OK you can't undo it if you open up again so that's the basics of Visual Basic Script button, and thanks for watching.